Hi YouTube family, we are going to be going over some primers. Whether you have oily skin, dry, combo, whether you need to take care of your pores, whether you need your, your makeup to last longer, whatever it is, there is a primer out there for you that should help you. This is just what I've learned about primers. This is just what I know how they play on my skin and with different foundations. And I wanted to pass that on to you. You guys had seen all of my primers in one drawer back here in my vanity when I did my room organization and asked if I would do a primer video. So, so here it is for you guys. I'm really glad to be doing it. Make sure that before you leave here today, you please give me a thumbs up. It really does help me out a lot. Okay, we're gonna go way back. The original people that originally developed primers was Smashbox. Because in their studios, their makeup artists were realizing that they needed something to smooth out their faces so that they had that perfected photogenic airbrushed look. And so they developed this. It is basically just dimethicone or silicone. And what it does is it goes over your skin, fills in your pores, creates a barrier between your makeup and your moisturizer, your foundation and your moisturizer. And Doesn't allow any breakthrough in your foundation. And so they were the originals to do that. And since then there's been oodles and countless amounts of companies that have come out with basically the same thing. I have two here today. I do want to mention a third, which is e.l.f. Mineral Primer. It is basically the exact same thing for a fraction of the cost. And this one is the NYX Pore Filler. Same exact ingredients in it, has the dimethicone. The ingredients are basically the same. Same thing with this Revlon Photo Ready Primer. It is just skin perfecting. So if you have very large pores, and if you have oily skin, this may be the perfect thing for you. It may be just exactly what you've been looking for. The one thing that I wanna talk about right away is if you are finding that the primer does not look good with the foundation or you're having breakthrough through the day or you know, you're, it just doesn't look right, check the ingredients on both of your products, both primer and foundation. The reason is is because if you have a dimethicone primer and you put an oil-based foundation on top of that, not gonna look that good. Or if you put an oil-free foundation on that, not gonna look that good either. Now that one's not as bad, but you can kind of tell. And I'll tell you honestly, I don't check the ingredients every time I purchase something. I'm just trying it out basically. But later on, if I do find that things aren't going really well with the way my makeup looks or whatnot, I will check the ingredients of both. And usually it's that the ingredients just don't mix well together. So, so dimethicone primers go good with dimethicone foundations. Oil-free foundations would go good with oil-free primers, etc., etc. You get the gist. So I actually have four different primers here that are oil-free primers. The first one is the Prime and Fine Pore, Pore Refining Anti-Shine Base keep me matte, long lasting oil free primer from Catrice. And this one is really good if you're oily. And, and I will tell you that in the summer months, I would put this in my T-zone where when it was humid and I was sweating and getting my menopausal power surges, I would put this in my T-zone so that my makeup wouldn't just melt off. So this one is really good at keeping you matte if you're very oily. That one might be one you wanna try. Another one is from NYX and this is the Honey Do, Do Me Up. So this one is extremely hydrating and it does have claims of taking away the redness on your face because of the little gold flecks that are in here. I haven't really found that that claim is true but the hydration in this is fantastic and it does sink into the skin very quickly. So if you have very dry skin and you've been looking for a primer that hydrates, you might wanna look into this. This now, one is not gonna keep your foundation from breaking apart during the day with your moisturizer underneath it. So it's not gonna create that barrier. But I have found that it's excellent in hydration. So if you need hydration, you're super dry, this is really good. Then there's this one from Tarte and it's the Double Duty Beauty Primer. This one has a slight coconut smell. It glides on the skin like a dream, feels like silk and just sinks into your skin so quickly. It's just gorgeous. I absolutely love it. But again, this doesn't take away the pores. It doesn't really give me a smooth canvas. It does keep your foundation on for a long time for being one that doesn't have any dimethicone in it. But again, it does have that little bit of a coconut fragrance. And if you're allergic to coconut, because a lot of people are finding that they're very sensitive to coconut, they break out. If you are, you might want to skip on that because I know it does have some coconut in it coconut oil or coconut extract or something in it. Okay, so this one I got on Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty and this is the Derma, Ble Derma Blend 
Insta Grip Jelly Primer. This is a really interesting primer. When you first put it on your skin, it feels sticky like honey. And you would think, what in the world have they done? And I did think that the first time I was trying to spread it out because it almost feels like you can't spread it out because it's too thick and too sticky. But it does a fantastic job of gripping your foundation all day long. If you have an occasion where you're gonna wanna keep your makeup on, your foundation on for 16 hours and you want it to look really good, this, this might be just what you need. So it's interesting, You, it's a little bit of a learning curve with it. You might like it, you might not, but yeah. So those are all my ones that don't have any dimethicone in them. The next two definitely have dimethicone in it and everybody has heard the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer um, compared to the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. The very first ingredient in here is the same exact ingredient in both of these. But the Tatcha goes on to have some skin loving ingredients in it. There's some essences and some herbs and different things in here. And there is actually silk in this product. So personally, I don't feel like the price tag is worth it. And a lot of people do. A lot of people will, you know, they'll only use this. They swear by this. It is nice. It is silky. It refines your skin. It makes your skin look very smooth. It takes care of those pores. It creates that barrier between your make your makeup and your moisturizer so you're not going to have any breakthrough. It does, it checks all those boxes, but so does the e.l.f. one. The only thing is that this one has the skin loving ingredients in it as well. So if you're somebody that worries about that and you don't get it in your own skincare, it might be something that you might want to invest in. Personally, I prefer the e.l.f. one. Both of these, when you dip into them, they almost have like a cooling effect, especially the Tatcha one. You can definitely feel that cooling effect to it. These are ones that I absolutely love. I use them both all the time. Will I repurchase the Tatcha one? Probably not because it is such a hefty price tag and the e.l.f. one does the same thing basically. So one of my very favorite primers of all times is the NYX Angel Veil. This goes on absolutely like you're just putting silk across your face. It doesn't necessarily sink into your skin, but you don't notice it adding a lot of slip. And I have two other primers. This is the Hourglass Veil Mineral, and this one is the Mali Beauty Perfect Press Prep Poreless Primer. These three right here have the same exact ingredients in them. Th these two right here, the hourglass that costs a bloody ton of money and the angel veil, same exact ingredients in them, you guys, and so does the Mali. So this is dimethicone based. It is for smoothing. It is for filling in those pores. It is, it is for helping with foundation breaking apart. And it is also really good for oily skin, but it's good for dry skin too, because for me, it locks in my moisturizer and really helps my moisturizer. So actually the NYX Angel Veil is probably my all time favorite. As far as any ones that are just dimethicone based and don't have any hydrating factors or anything like it. So this would be like my number two pick above any of these other primers that I've shown you. In a recent video, I did show everyone this Revlon Color Stay Prep and Protect Primer Base with an SPF of 34 in it. My friend Sherry from Graceful Beauty, she is the one that touted this. She has a whole video on it and how she feels like it just perfects her makeup and her skin looks so good without any makeup on it. And it is a very, very good primer. I would say you guys, this kind of just checks all the boxes. It has the SPF, it has the pore smoothing, the hydrating, all of those things where it's gonna help if you have oily skin, it's gonna help lock in your moisturizer if you have dry skin. Really a good primer that is, that is like up there. So it's like tied with number two. <laughs> and then I recently got this little trial size of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. Okay, this one checks the boxes too, except for the SPF part. So if you already wear sunscreen, which I wear sunscreen as my very last skincare step, this one right here does the hydration if you have dry skin, and it also has the dimethicone in it. And this one has that cooling effect too. When I rub it into my hand, you can see right there that it just looks like it's almost, I may, might not be able to see it. It just kind of looks like it is just a moisturizer that is going into the skin, and it does. It just sinks into the skin so nice nice and immediately you can feel it drying down and you can feel that little bit of slip in it and it's just a beautiful product. However, my very favorite number one primer is from Milani and same thing. I got in a little trial size and thought, okay, 
This is for me. This one is the Prime Perfection. This is the hydrating and pore refining one. This one is white, comes out white. The primerizer did too. But again, you can feel those cooling effects of it, but it's a little bit thicker. So I'll tell you why I like that it is a little bit thicker is that I feel like it gives me a little bit more smoothing to my skin and, and a little bit more skin perfecting. So I feel like my skin is just a little bit more perfected by it. I actually put it in a very recent dupes video. I believe that this is a dupe. Their ingredients are really close, but I prefer this one because it is a little bit thicker because I can feel a little bit more dimethicone in there. And with my aging skin, fine lines, wrinkles, pores, all those fun things, it smooths it out. That's my number one holy grail primer and I will purchase it over and over again. And I absolutely love that stuff. That's everything for today's video. I hope that you guys did enjoy it. If you guys have a primer that you absolutely cannot live without, let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear that. And I may even try it out and put it in a future video. Thank you guys so much for spending part of your day with me. I really appreciate it. And I have a visitor. Come on. This is Smucker. She's not gonna look at the camera, but we'll make her. There she is. <laughs> Take care of yourselves, you guys. Love you all very much. Have a great day. And I'll catch you all in my next video. Bye, guys.